Good day, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome back to Half-Life, and I'm going to move this valve with my gun. There we go, now the storm drain hatch is open, in case you missed it from the previous episode we've been left off. And so anyways, in case you're... I think what happened during the last recording is that the frame counter, it was still seen at the top left of the screen, and I apologize for that. I have no idea why it was showing up in there, but hopefully that can be prevented in the future. If you have a suggestions or ideas as to why this occurred, then please feel free to tell me, because it might become a slight annoyance. So as you can see, the storm drain hatch is now opened up. All we have to do is just sneak over and jump right over this wire, like we did in the last part. Down the slider we go, and we die. Oh uh, my. Also, one thing I should know about this recording is that it's going to be considerably less in terms of recording time. Like, I'm only going to record for probably about 10 minutes, just because I have to go places really soon, I have to go put some money into the bank, things like that. And hopefully you will not hack my credit card account and steal anything credit card. What am I saying? I only have a debit account. You know, I should just shut up. I, I even know who you are. Let's just quick save right here. But on the subject of money, Yes, that is contributing to the fact that I will be getting a new computer. Of course, however, this also means I'm going to have to be paying a bill real soon. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted right there because the valve theme is playing right now. Nice little jet right there. Now there's going to be a turret if we just carefully creep out of this corner in shift mode. Is there anything I can do to snipe this guy off, I wonder? Oh, I have this gun! <laughs> he just passed out. Awesome. I he saw me. He got me. Looks like I'm gonna have to charge up the shot this time. And the music stopped playing. I do deeply apologize for that because this is actually quite an awesome track. It's the typical valve theme you get when you see the fat guy, the fat headed guy with the um, the valve in the back of his head. The valve has a really weird logo design, but it works. It signifies them. Alright, we've taken care of that turret and that guy has no idea what he's doing, so I'm just going to shoot him a couple of times. And I guess we can move on now. And hopefully this will not hurt, because I do not like getting hurt. Excellent! A little quick save here. Just feel ledge jumping. And of course, getting shot, that's always nice. Just like this guy, he didn't. He really didn't seem to mind. Just be extra safe though. We got a beautiful background down there. It'd be nice if we could go swimming. In some, at least, outdoor fresh water, unlike the the sewer wires we mostly encounter in this game. Or in this facility... I, I'm stuck. Toss a couple bugs off the edge. That's certainly going to help, isn't it? Well, I've got about eight minutes left. And hopefully most of that won't be... part of my screwing around in this game. Because I seem to be very good at doing that. Let's see if we can just sneak around... and... Maybe if I can surprise him. Surprise, 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 surprise. You should be surprised by this. Oh, I have run out of ammunition for this gun. That did not take long at all. Also, I did figure out the name of this gun in the previous episode, which I just uploaded um, today. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the same day where I upload this episode. And I forgot its name entirely, but it's not the Gluon gun. I've confirmed that. But basically, the Gluon gun is pretty much the ghost. It's the gun from Ghostbusters that sucks up ghosts. Do I even need to say more? Uh, it, as I was saying, he was in the tags, so I'll try to include it this time around. What's the safest way of getting down here? Because I forget entirely. Hopefully, we won't come across any more nasty surprises. I only have 10 health. This is quite suitable, I approve. Yep, 
just a floating ledge. We've got a bridge right here. Five bucks says this is going to collapse if I walk right over it. Oh my god, I'm so surprised that occurred. Well, nice little suit energy. I kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of expecting when you find little secret things like that, you'd get the little heads-up display that says secret has been found. Just my nostalgia for video games, first-person shooters. And that was quite an awful jump. There goes... Uh, uh, <laughs> Why is it fade into black if I'm really just going to hit that platform canyon right there? Alright. Perhaps the surgery is just something you have to die for because... Okay, there we go. There was the possibility of escaping. Thank goodness. Well, let's walk around a bit. Can I make this jump just to be fancy? Oh my god, it's a speed running technique! Everybody mark the stud! <sighs> okay. Had I known he was there, I probably could have conjured up a solution. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not really good at that. Alright, screw the speed running technique. I'm just going to creep around in the sense, in the manner that they want you to do this. And then shoot a grenade over. Oh, you know, I don't even care. I even care that I lost that health. I care that I lost that health. I do care very much. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh my god. I have found the RPG. Well. I just want to do something in a little bit of honor in Valve's games. I want to reenact the very first rocket jump ever performed in a Valve title. We're going to gloriously rocket jump off this cliff and hit somebody with a shovel. Or this, or this chroma, that works as well. Here. We. Go. What? Well, that didn't turn out the way I expected. I, I thought Valve was like the pinnacle of rocket jumping in this game. What the hell's going on? Hang on, hang on. I better try this one more time. All right, I couldn't manage to make the jump. I guess I have too low health, and there's nothing I could do to change that. Oh well, that was my reenactment of the very first rocket jump ever performed in a Valve title. I hope you enjoyed. Perhaps I will make a montage of that someday, of all the rocket jumps ever performed in the world. That would take a million years. But it looks like that helicopter is gone so we can progress forward with this awesome crossbow precariously dangling just above the fate of the Earth. Fate of... what am I even saying? <laughs> I, I don't even know, I've got, I've got nothing. Let's just continue scaling up the cliff. Got some precision jumping. Actually, more like just hold forward and hope you land on the platform jumping, which actually isn't really that difficult. <laughs> I wish more games had precarious ledges like this. It's kind of a neat element, if you ask me. <laughs> it can be a little nerve wracking, but eh, you'll get used to it. And we exited the sewers just to. Oh, just kill me right now, why don't you? <laughs> you have no idea. You have absolutely no bloody clue how that scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Oh my god. This game is full of surprises. Take out the shotgun, the spaz shotgun. Surprise! There we go. That's how you get past a head crab positioned in that manner. Whew! <laughs> well, down we go into the tunnel. I should probably carry... Uh, and this weapon, okay. Crossbow, the MP5, or the pew-pew gun. Let's do this. Let's... Damn it. <laughs> um, I got, I got stuck. Just give me a second.
let's <laughs> let's try that again. And maybe the music will start playing just to please me because I do love that music track. If I just jump a couple times, then I can make it out safely, please. No! <laughs> Well, getting past this mysterious area is probably going to have to wait for another episode, I'm afraid, because... Okay, I thought I was just moving forward right there. It's going to have to wait for the next episode in the dark. Ooh, spooky! Well, then, deal with the shotgun. And we have, like, the perfect amount of shells to match the ammo capacity for this. Well, then, thank you guys very much for watching, and I guess I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.